Hello guys, today's video is on repeats DB. It is a very important tool of bioinformatics and by using this tool you can find out the number of tandem repeats in your protein sequence. Means if you want to know that how many tandem repeats are there in a given sequence. So by using this repeats DB you can find the same. So how you can access or how you can use this tool. So just to access the repeats DB open your browser and here search for the software that is repeats db and the first website that is repeats db.bio.unipd.it so this is the main website so just open it now this is the home page of this repeats db tool here these are the you can say these are some basic information about this repeats db like this is the version release date and here this is the classification of tandem repeats. So before explaining this repeats DB to you, let me explain one more thing that what are tandem repeats. So tandem repeats as you can see in this diagram. So these are those sequence which are repeated many times within a protein sequence. Like for example, this is a repeat unit. This small blue box is the repeat unit and if this box is repeated many times then it will become a tandem repeats. So tandem repeats are as the definition is also here. So these are the you can say these, these are defined as the several adjacent copies having the same or similar sequence motif. So these are tandem repeats. Now at this repeats db home page if you want to know that how many tandem repeats are there in your sequence. So before this let me clear one more thing that the classification of these tandem repeats. So repeats db contain the following repeat classes. So these are crystalline aggregate, fibrous repeats, elongated repeats, closed repeats and beads on string repeats. So these are the five classes of these repeats which are available on this repeats db server and here that in case of crystalline aggregate it has zero result from uniprot three results from pdb and so on so this is all data about that how much data is available with this repeats db tool now in order to know the tandem repeats in your sequence so just click this option that is repeats db light so as you click here now a new window has been open here you can search by the pdb pd stand for the protein data bank id so you either you can use pdb id or you can directly choose the file but it should be in the pdb format and you can also use the chain id so here i am going to perform with pdb id which i know that is so this is the id i am going to search for this 1j7w so after entering the id this is the pdb id just click the submit button as you will click the submit button so it will take some time so just for you i have already downloaded the results so these are the results of repeats db how to interpret these results so here this blue and this red reason it represents the tandem repeats this is the sequencer view and 141 means the sequence which we just gave to the software that was of 141 amino acid long and again repeating this blue reason and this red reason they repeat they represent the tandem repeats here in 3d diagram these blue and this red chain they represent the tandem repeats you can see by rotating this diagram in any direction so this is a 3d view of this tandem repeats if you scroll down here now it is giving the more information about that protein that this protein was a barrel protein the PDB ID of this protein was this 1G4EB and residue are these here. It also performed the alignment of that given protein sequence with similar homologs or orthologs. And after performing the alignment, it gave us more result. So these are the result after the alignment. So here this is the matrix of which is giving the various scores. And again in 3D view, so here it is also showing you the you can say the number of tandem repeats after the alignment and this is the sequencer viewer which is showing you the aligned sequence like these are the sequences which are aligned with one 
one another and this is the you can say aligned result so this repeats db is one of the important tool or you can say one of very useful to tool if you want to know about the tandem repeats available or present in your sequence so by this you can know about the tandem repeats in your protein sequence so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much